All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. For my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so it's truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Oliveira is four years his senior. He is three inches taller. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC, the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Armin Ahalkalakis Darukian! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body. Oh! Massive kick to the head! Whiffs on the elbow. Hands high, hands high. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
Just over three minutes to go. Good punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oliveira's punched to the body. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Dig and kick. Oh, big left. Spinning back fist is there. How about that chin? Big body kick. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Oliveira. Beautiful punch. Kick to the body is there. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Trying to kick the leg out. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. And they suck. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so somehow, some way, we will fight onward. There was a big liver shot there that buckled his opponent. DC, here's your replay. Nothing is worse. Nothing is worse than taking one of those shots right to the liver. It shuts everything down. You got to be so tough to stay standing after you take a strike like that. He's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Take shot now. Take shot. Oh, he lands a huge knee. 
knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Whiffs on that offering. Oh! Just misses there with the left. Three minutes and change to go in round two. That was landed clean. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Strike blocked by Oliver. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back and forth we go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands it so effectively. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Effective punch there by Oliveira. Head kick partially blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That's how you finish the fight. Nice strike. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice straight right land. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to get taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Plus right hand is true. Oh! Liver kick! Oh, straight right! Just misses with the jab there. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He loaded up there on that high kick. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Olivera's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Beautiful strike. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Oliver. Nice head kick. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. A nice punch lands over the top. <laughs> Beautiful body kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, massive kick to the body, lands flush. Big punch land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big roundhouse now just misses. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. The right hand just misses. Like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Oliveira. Look at the angle of that nice body. Here. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Kick to the body by Oliveira. Big punch lands through the middle. A little single collar tie there. Real nice body kick land. Visibly limping here. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oliveira gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, there's the head kick. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Armin Ahakalakis! Darukian! All right, congratulations.
congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.